Hello and welcome to the video. So I wanted a propel without paying for it new. Um, so I decided to challenge myself and fix a frame and then add the other bits and see if I could keep it under the thousand pounds. Here's the video, check it out. Here goes. So this is what I got off eBay. Just a boxy and hardener. Uh, the usual mix is ten to three. Um, there's carbon fibre. So I'm just going to cut it. And play. I just remember to wear gloves, and then I've got the tape to wrap it up, just to hold it as tight as possible. Let's have a look. Okay. So you cut it. Nice. Never done this before, so I'm just taking my time. Okay, so I'm mixing ten parts to three. Okay, here it goes. Target is tried to be as tight as possible, so I've got less work to do later. Looks neat. tape as well on the outside just to push the tension so as you can see it's quite even across the top and on the back it's just the cellar tape let's clean that up mix done mix stays in the pot for about 90 minutes so you can still work with it if you want to there's no rush I was a little bit stressed because it's my first time to do that so because I've got some left I'm just going to pop a bit of tape on that over there until next time. Pot life. That's the gelation time. And that's the demold time at 25 degrees. I'm just gonna have to keep it indoors and I think I'm just gonna double that because indoors is around, ah, this time of year is about 18-ish. So I think I'm just gonna leave it for two days. So I've left it for a, for a week. I've been so busy with work, I've just left it for a week. So I'm quite nervous to see what it's turned out to be like. It looks really nice. Okay, so I got a lot of sanding down to get that right. Profile seems okay though. Seems nice and flush. So we've got a cup 
couple of things. So that's obviously not sanded. That's the difference. So that is okay. Don't sand too much. You can see the paint coming through quite level. I've got this plate so I can gauge how level it is. And that's pretty good. Bit of a bulge but there. Okay, so just sanding the other side. I've been at this for about 20 minutes. So that's 800 grit in there, and I've used the 800 grit on the top just to really fine it up ready for the paint. So spring it. I've um, prepped, as you can see, I've got fine line tape on the inside, but right here there is a slight problem. There we are, you can see little air bubbles in the carbon fibre. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to use some sort of filler. Okay, so that's better. I used decorator's cork. But as it happens, the holes are microscopic. I sanded it right down again. I'm not endorsing any company. This is just what I've found on eBay. Um, seems to have done the job so far. And I think I sanded it back down with 600 and then 800 again. That's the coat. I'm going to leave that overnight. By the way, this thing, this aerial, is um, holding the uh, internal cabling. First mistake I did, I pulled it off. Sat, I got two here. Matte black and satin black. My wife checked as well. The both of us agree. Satin black lines up nicely with the uh, paintwork underneath this, so it should blend in, I'm hoping. So there we are, back in the morning. Okay, so I forgot to record, but I've been using the satin black. It's very, very light at the moment, just keeping it as fine as possible. Garage door is open. Keep it away and off the piece. I may take, um, I probably will actually, 800 grit over it just to uh, very, very lightly, just to tidy it up before the final, final coat. There is a seam, a little line there. I'm just being extremely fussy. Um, I've asked a few people what they think and they, they didn't even notice. They thought it was just part of the design of the bike. And I've tried to blend it in, but I don't want to go too much. Um, because I'm gonna give this part too many coats and I don't want to mask that off either. Um, but down here, it's just sort of blended in anyway um, and didn't go over that uh, decal down there. So I've got this and basically I've cut the strip. So yeah, with a vinyl, I'm definitely gonna put a strip down by there. And I'm going to put a strip along the top. Okay, I'm going to take it all off and I'm going to put the vinyl on. Ignore this, I'm just doing some internal cable routing because I lost them down there, so it's just waiting to glue. Um, yeah, so that's got a lovely little vinyl sticker by there. Lovely little vinyl sticker down the middle. And that's framed off nicely as well. There. Job's a good one. All I've got to do is to... Build the thing. I've got everything down there, and I've got the wheels in some boxes. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I'll ping it up here once I'm done.